Hello, today I would like to show you Portainer and how to use it as a dashboard for Kubernetes. Okay, so here I have a Ranger installed. Kubectl get port dash a, and we have something like this. And what I want to do, I want to install container in exactly this master node. So like this, apply, and you can see everything is created. Go back to pods and you can see we have a container that is pod that is pending currently. And one more time and container is running, no restart, so everything is up and running. So how to get into the portainer? The best option is to understand it. Uh, I will do this and will quickly explain this. I will download the portainer file. I will just edit it, uh, portainer. We scroll down this section, the service. Uh, yeah, here. So the port, we have three ports. Uh, one, two, three, with uh, here, with dashes. So port 9000 is internal port and node port is external port. So for HTTP, it is 3777. For HTTPS is 3779 and edge, we will skip this, but yeah, 3776. And I will quit it. And now see where else. V me just give me a verbose output. K skip the TLS certificate check and HTTP S like this and ten dot ten dot zero dot hundred twenty colon and now we need to port seven seven nine. You can see it's working. I will explain in a moment. And for HTTP 777, so yeah, both are working. And I'm going to explain these two. Okay, so cube TL, get SVC and namespace for container. Now we can see exactly what is going on here. So we have port. On the left side, you have internal port. Uh, this is a node port opened on the port side. And on the right side, you have external port. Now you understand HTTP 377, HTTPS 779. So there is a redirection from port 3779 to 9443 or from 3777 to 9000 and for edge from 3776 to 3776. Okay, so let's copy this URL and we will open it in the browser. I will copy only this and let's do this. I will show you the dashboard from container. Okay, here we go. And you need to do it quickly. If there will be an information that for some security reason the dashboard is not displayed and you will not be able to see this uh, panel where you can change the password, then what you have to do, you have to go back to command line and then you need to delete the pod portainer. So get, but uh, okay, pods and namespace portainer, just like that. And then kubectl, delete, pod, like this, this one, and namespace portainer, like this. And it will be deleted, and after that, you can see the new is running. And if you will go back to the browser, and you will then refresh this, button, use the, or control F5, it will load the panel and you will be able to change the password for the administrator. 
So this is the best option. If you want to restart the port, in this case, just delete the port. Okay, I will use a password generator. We'll put it here. Here we go. Click on get started, live connect. And here we go. We are connected to the master node and we have namespaces here. So I will click on namespaces here and I will go to Ranger. We'll click on my master node local and I will also choose namespaces from here. And a quick comparison, we have an option to create a namespace in project default or project system. Let's create a namespace. So here you can just put the content into these fields and you can go through all those sections and then hit uh, create button and it will create a namespace. Eventually you can use option import yum and you have option read from file so you can directly import the yum file from your computer. And portainer has similar configuration so if you will click add for we have an option and we have forms that we can fill but how to upload the yum file so we will go back to this section to namespace list and instead of using option add with form we will use create from manifest and if we do this we have much more things here so we have an option to use a web editor we can use url like samba share nfs share for example or some nas like i don't know Synology, for example, or QNAP. Eventually, uh, and this is something like this. And there is an option if you want to use a web editor, if you will scroll down so you can put it here. And also, there is a, a URL. So, yeah, and custom template. And I will explain custom template later. And we have also repositories. Uh, so, we can select this, something like this, and we can choose. Uh, namespaces uh, that is specified from manifest or we can choose into which namespace we want to deploy the manifest file and in the repository we have an option to automate everything i mean we can provide automatic uh, authentication and what i'm exactly talking by uh, mentioning automatization well let's imagine situation someone or you are creating a git repository and you are pushing the repository i mean on your computer then you are doing git add git commit git push so you are pushing uh, changes to your repository and instead of using your personal account this is a good practice use a new created service account with some name like a technical account in your gitlab github bitbucket and create a personal token for this service account, not for your personal account, because if you will leave the company, your personal account will be deleted because of the security. And this is fine, really fine. That is why we have technical accounts with tokens. And thanks to this, we can get into repositories and we will be able to download. And here you can provide the repository URL. You have also uh, repository reference manifest path so you provide uh, the name of the manifest and you have an option github update so you can something like this you can select it you, you have a mechanism event you have a webhook or polling and so you have even a fetch interval so how often it will uh, fetch the file uh, from the repository and you have option to skip tls verification if you are using uh, for example a bitbucket gitlab git server inside your company in your LAN uh, so uh, you're using self-signed certificates and sometimes there's a problem that uh, there is a problem with authentication that uh, Portainer is unable to communicate with GitLab, GitHub uh, or Bitbucket server just because of you know self-signed certification so you can skip CLS verification and you will be able to use it. However, I really recommend to add certificates properly to server and uh, to do everything as uh, expected in the company by uploading certificates, uh, self-signed certificate properly signed uh, by Rootsia certificate and upload into proper directory. Use update dash the uh, certificates if I remember correctly the command. Uh, and it will take the newly created uh, certificate that is uploaded into the 
proper directory in your uh, Linux where the container is installed, for example, and then it should work. But sometimes if there is a problem, so you can skip the last verification. Anyway, it is good something to know that, okay, I have an option to work with repositories. And that is nice. And let's go here to the custom template because uh, if we will create in the beginning uh, template view, and I will just do this test and test. You can provide icon URL if you want to. You can use web editor, but you can see here we have an option. Um, if we are using custom template, we have an option to upload file from computer. And so we can select a file and we can choose uh, control. So we can use administrators or restricted, or we can uh, disable this functionality and we can use it like this or eventually you can use also repository and here we can uh, also skip TLS verification and we can enable access control if you want to or we can even disable it if and it will work this way but here there is no uh, fetch option and uh, refresh for fetching so how often you should fetch the file however um I will just try to show you something. I will get into my website and then I will get some GitHub uh, repository. Let's use, uh, okay, it can be this one, Ranger. I will copy the URL from here, I'll close it, and now I will put repository URL. And by the way, I need a name file name. So I will just let do this. I will use just this one. And instead of manifest.yaml, I will put this sh because it has to be a file that exists. And yeah, I will click skip this and let create it. That should work. And okay, here we go. But something is not working. This is field authentication. No, I don't want to. I just want to use only this. So this ah description test something like this. No test test. Yeah. Now I can create it. Okay. Skip TLS and create this. And it is created. And now go to namespace. It's just I wanted to show you this and create from manifest and use the custom template just from the drop down list my test and here it will take the file so there is no refresh but you know if someone will just commit a change to the repository you will be able to add a custom template and it automatically will get the file here if there is a similar functionality, I suppose that here um, I will go somewhere was service delivery storage. Just want to see something workloads. So we have demon sets, cron jobs, port. Okay, ah, uh, start here. I just don't remember. Here there is a filter Argo D. Argo, Argo, Argo CD. This is a Helm chart. And I will go back to Fortainer because now I will skip this and I will go to Helm. And yeah. So here we have charts. And those charts, um, those repositories actually are different than those that we can use here and I will go back here just because ah one more time storage service discovery now apps and charts yes and here we have a lot of packages and the same situation here but here we have different packages here and here and that is normal so if you are looking for our uh, can use something like our go just because I wanted to show you the that there is an option to install Argo CD it's a declarative GitOps continuous delivery tool for Kubernetes so it has a similar 
functionality and you can use it if you want to and you can just install so i will try to install it and it should work so we can use the default namespace argo cd uh okay we will use a def default namespace and that is all so you have a lot of things here We scroll it up a little bit. Here you have a uh, uh, SSA ECDSA key, so a, uh, elliptical curve, etc. So install it, and it will use key to connect, and we will install it. Nice, installed up. So you can see we have to wait ten minutes, timeout, and it is installing Argo CD installation is in progress and this is something that you need to install additionally to be able to use repositories uh, in argo cd and yeah this way but i wasn't able to find any functionality like here we have that you can add directly uh create them from manifest and you can add uh, a repository directly like you can do this in portainer if there is a functionality that is available in ranger by default so such functionality it is not available and i was looking for uh, by expanding these sections and i wasn't able to find anything like this and i was looking for how to do this and even if we will go to uh, repositories we have an option to create it but minimize it it's possible to minimize yes it is so you can see you have an option to click and go but nothing more kubectl shelf it is working here and here just because it is the same functionality the only one difference is kubectl get ports dash a is the fact that uh dashboard shell for a uh, ranger is opening two uh containers inside the pod and portainer is opening only one container inside the pod and it is working like this and if i will close it now Control d it closes automatically and if i will go to ranger and i will use cube ctl get ports dash a you will see that uh, the dashboard is running the dashboard for portainer is gone and if i will hit Control d it's disconnected but it doesn't close the window so here we go and here we go and go to the cluster and that is all what is uh, important that you need to watch carefully how much space is in use on your uh, system and this will be a separate topic because this is also a crucial information that you need to monitor the usage uh, of your cpu of memory and also the most important a space on your hard drive and i will explain why it is important so for now it is everything i wanted to present thank you very much have a nice day or night take care bye bye